There is a story behind this soup and one day I'm going to share all of it. But for now, all I can say is this is the soup my family survived on during the Kaduna Sharia War of February year 2000. I don't know how Ewedra Lasepo came about in other families, but my mom devised this because it was what we could get at the time. Many times we would cook this soup with no protein added and eat it like that. It's been 23 years after that experience and I am super grateful to God for the provision of this soup then and now. Since then, I have continued to cook a widow lasipo with my choice of protein. Okay, enough of the story, let's get into the recipe. The chief ingredient in this recipe is a widow, of course, and you want to make sure that you select a widow that will be very slimy. We need that for this soup. I will use roughly blended ataro dough, and here I have a whole titles and brown pomo which has been cleaned very well. Some washed iru as well. I have dried shrimps, palm oil, stock cubes, and salt. To cook my widow lasipo, I'm going to start by adding my chopped atarodo into the pan. I will add some water, enough to cook my fish, and I'm going to add my titles and pomo at the same time. Then I'll go in with the iru, which has been washed, of course, the dried shrimp and a little palm oil, not too much. I will add my stock cubes and salt. Hey, forgive me. I'm sorry. I totally forgot I have not said hi to you, my dear viewers. <laughs> welcome to my channel. You're welcome. If you are coming back again, you're welcome. If this is your first time, Thank you for stopping by and thank you for always coming to watch my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I am very grateful for your support. And by the way, Ewedu soup is one of the healthier soups we have in Nigeria. And this is one of the ways to enjoy the soup. I'm going to leave this to cook thoroughly while I go take care of the Ewedu. I have washed this thoroughly. I washed three times to remove sand and dirt and I'm going to blend this in a blender. If you prefer to use a broom, it's okay. If you like to chop on a board, that is fine too. But I like to use a blender, it is fast, and then it gives me the perfect consistency. I don't have to use potash. I just add a little amount of water and I pause the blender a few times and my widow is good. This is it after blending and I am satisfied with the consistency. I'm going to add this in a pan. I'll rinse out the blender with a bit of water. You want to make sure to keep the water very minimal. Since we're going to be adding this in a steel base, which already has some amount of water. So by the time this goes into the steel base, I want to make sure that it is not too runny. So this is why I'm keeping the water very minimal at this point, very important. I'm going to cook this Ewedu for nothing more than 3 to 4 minutes. That is enough because it's still going to go into the stew base and cook for a bit more. So we do not want to overcook it so we don't lose the slimy effect. I'm also not going to add it into the stew base directly because I want it to be really slimy and adding it directly into the stew base will reduce that effect. With the stew base ready, I'm going to take out the fish so I can add the awedu and mix the way I like. That way the fish don't break in the soup. I want them whole. If you like this recipe, kindly express it by giving me a thumbs up and sharing with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, do consider to subscribe. I have loads of amazing recipes on my channel and it will be worth your time here. I've taken out all the fish. Now I'm going to add in the already cooked Ewedu. Then I'll stir to combine everything. This pan is just going going around on the stove top i don't know where it is going to <laughs> i have to hold it down make you know my soup no go through way <laughs> see if you're in a weight loss journey or you are looking to maintain your weight and you already eat and like a widow then i think you should add this recipe to your menu it would do your body a lot of good you need to do a little research about it 
a widow soap is inexpensive it is easy to whip up and it takes no time it is a little thick and i think it can use a little water so i added some every member of the family can enjoy this soup i love the color i love how slimy it is i love the addition of iru in this soup the pomo everything is working well for my good <laughs> now i'm going to add in back my fish which i took out before i poured in the ewedu and stir this gently and just make sure that everything is covered in a widow elastic so <laughs> and last but not the least some crayfish powder to finish this off and give it another extra flavor if you have a baby you're about to start on complimentary feeding you may want to consider this soup it is very good although for a start i would advise that you do not add pepper in this soup for a baby but it is very good do not also add sea stock cube you can you can give it a good taste with crayfish powder and they always i mean my own children they like it a lot they eat it with amala and they eat it very well i'm just going to let this cook for another two minutes maximum and we are done i wasted no time i served my widow lasipo with two shinkafa which i made the recipe is on this channel and I'm going to leave the link in the description box in case you want to check it out. There is really no swallow you cannot enjoy this soup with. It goes well with virtually all the swallows. I mean, I have tried it with Amala, Eba, Fufu. It just goes well with everything. That is how good the soup is. Unfortunately, I do not have the words to describe how good and delicious this soup is. You will need to try it yourself to understand. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you will try this and feed me back. Till I come your way again with another fantastic recipe. My name is Rem Rem. Take care and bye bye.